Each year, the world sheep produce between 2 to 3 million tons of wool. And it takes a lot longer than you may think to go from this to this. The Pendleton Mills receive about 8,000 pounds of freshly shorn wool from around the world each day. Marshall, welcome to Pendleton Woolen Mills in Washougal, Washington. The first thing they do with a fresh batch of wool is dye it into one of thousands of colors they use in their fabrics. Workers load 500 pounds of fleece into a five-foot steel basket. Where this hydraulic press uses water and pressure to compact it. Compacting the wool allows them to dye more at one time and preserve resources. Once it's compressed, it's ready for the dyeing process. A crane lifts the basket and slowly lowers it into a giant pressurized vat called a die cure. A computer triggers the release of dye from tanks above into the cure. They add the dye chemicals and 1,200 gallons of hot water. The nice thing about wool is that it's hydrophilic. It loves water, and what that means for us is that wool will hold on to its color for a really long time. After three to four hours, fresh water pumps in to rinse out excess dye. Then the wool moves into the centrifuge. Here, a quick spin cycle removes most of the water. But the newly colored wool is still pretty damp. So it's on to Pendleton stock dryer. Though this is nothing like your dryer at home. This is a gigantic microwave oven that they use to remove the remaining moisture from the wool. The reason why they use microwaves instead of heat is the same reason you wouldn't put your fine woolens into the dryer. Heat can damage the wool fibers and also shrink them. By using microwaves, they preserve the quality of the wool. 